well, well, well. You know my motto already. Some of you have to know by now. I don't make believe, I make believers. Family, I'm your gracious host. Drummer boy 1980, hailing from the Carolinas. Columbia, South Carolina to be exact. You heard that Southern accent, huh? If not, you know the old adage, ask yourself why. And remember this, happiness is an inside job. And it will always be. And in turn, it will fail. Well, guys, we back again today with another reaction. I got something for y'all guys. This one here is a severe case. And you have to hear it in order to believe. I'm going to call your attention to the screen, fam. All right? The whole time I was seeing him, I was kind of just using it as a psychology experiment, and I didn't really, I didn't really like the guy. I more just wanted to see if I could break his heart, Yikes. and <laughs> it was fun. So, did you break his heart then? Just a wee bit. I hope I did a little damage. Wow. Okay. Why do you hope that you did a little damage? Just I like humbling men. You like humbling men. Yeah. It's so like my pastime. Your pastime is humbling men. Mm -hmm. You do work at a strip club, so do you humble men there? No, I take their money. Well, what is your first thought that come to mind, family? Put it in the comment section. She said that she like humbling men. Hmm? What is your first thought? She also said that she was using men as a psychology experiment. She wanted to break his heart. And she broke his heart just a wee bit. Just a little bit. Huh? And come to find out, she worked at a strip club. Hmm. That all makes sense, doesn't it? Does anybody sense any trauma? Perhaps? Just a little bit? Just a smidge. Guys, beware. I'm talking to all men, universal, across the board. Beware of women like this. Because I guarantee you this woman have adopted feminism all the way down to the core. I can assure you that. Listen to that. And on top of that, she want to humble men. And on top of that, she work at a club. Hmm. This is the type of women, guys, here that will ruin your life. Literally, not figuratively, literally will ruin your life. And she will turn around and blame you for every teeny weetsy bit of thing. Anything that happened in her life, you're going to be at fault. The fingers are going to be pointing at you the whole time. This is the kind of woman here that'll call the police on you here, right here. She is the kind of woman that will get you into some hot water about something that's minute. She'll fight you on everything. Listen at her. She like the humble men. What kind of malarkey bullcrap is that? That's nonsense. The problem with a lot of men is they will encounter a woman just like this and have a conversation with her. But they so blinded because they pining for sex. So all of the red flags are going off. Every last red flag known to man is going off. Look at the way she dressed. Just look at her. Listen at her speech. And a lot of men will ignore all of that just to get into some guts. Just to clap some cheeks. Is it worth it? Because then you actually would get online or start complaining about these women ain't no good. But look at the choices that you make. Oh, oh. I said exactly how I meant it. I, I, I said it. Look at the choices you make. Is this here the best you can do? This? Some homely looking woman that literally have disdain and contempt for you. Literally, not figuratively, literally. 
this woman need to be a pariah walking around in society. And she out in the open willy nilly just batting all her talking points, telling you exactly how she feel. See, this right here is the best thing about the advent of the Internet. The Internet and social media allowed you to see different kinds of people, the characters of people, because some people don't interact with people out in public. So the Internet has allowed people to view different characters, different personalities. So they should be no excuse. What you need to do is be a student and be an aficionado of people. That's what I call myself because I study people. I can sit back in a room and just sit back and look. And I'd be like, mm, this person here. Mm. And I know what some old smart Alec is going to say. Well, drama, you can't judge a book by its cover. I'm not judging it by its cover. I'm reading the content as I sit there and look at them and listen at them. I'm reading the content, smart Alec. And I can sit back and I can listen at this person talk for five minutes. Huh? Mm. I know exactly where your heart is at. Because the mouth would give you away. There is an old proverb. A fish would never get caught if he wouldn't open his mouth. Now, don't y'all get in my comments and say, well, I can just use a net. We ain't talking about a net. We talking about a fishing hook. That's what we talking about. A fish, a worm, and a hook. Use that, all right? The internet has allowed you to see these people exactly for who they are and how they moving, how they coming, because they only are a few kind of people that's in the world, guys. That's just what it is. And what you're going to start soon finding out is a lot of people have similar traits and characteristics. But guys, whenever that I first seen this lady and I seen the way that she was dressed, automatically I started thinking, hmm, Stripper Dominate Street That's the first thought that came to my head So then after that She started Spatting off that gibberish I said huh Exactly She liked to dominate me Hmm So I wasn't too far off She's a Stripper I wasn't too far off. And if you start digging, she probably get into some type of role play. Uh, you know, dominate street type stuff. Uh, yes. Sadistic. Mm-hmm. But you should see her coming from afar, guys. All right. Nah, let me take a turn. Let me go another route. Black men, let me talk to y'all for a second. See, this the type of woman right here that would have sex with you. And the next morning or the next week or two, you will get a knock on your door from the 5 saying that uh, you have been accused of violating somebody. Uh-huh. Or maybe that you didn't even have sex with. You could possibly just make out with a kiss on her a little bit or just whatever. Michael Irvin, guys, for y'all that's not familiar with it, Michael Irvin is an ex NFL receiver. He played for Dallas, right? Well, he went to this motel. It was full of people, you know. Most people knew who Michael Irvin was, so this woman wanted to meet him. Long and behold, he literally was sitting there talking to her, having a general conversation with her. He put his hand like on her shoulder, talking to her. The woman said that he violated her. Think about that for just a moment. The camera said he didn't do nothing but just put his hand right there on her shoulder, talking to her. She said he violated her. This guy was some type of analyst on one of those sports shows. He lost that. Lost his job. All because a woman, a Caucasian woman, said that he violated her. Come to find out that evidence proved he didn't do nothing but just sit there and talk to her. 
for just a few seconds, some homely white woman said he violated and he lost everything. Basically, this is the type right here. That is my whole point. And the crazy thing about Michael Irvin's situation is whenever that he proved that he didn't do anything because they didn't want to release the tapes, he had to go through court to try to get them to release the tapes. The video footage. And whenever he was found to be innocent, according to the tape, they still didn't give him his job back. That's the crazy thing. Off of somebody's word. Nothing else. Just off of a word. Don't y'all get in my comments. Well, black when you show me one black woman that have got any man of substance in trouble by simply her word. Show them to me. White man, black man, Asian man, any of them, a man of means, and a black woman tuck him down simply because she said by her word he did something to her. Show him to me. Let Michael Irvin serve as a cautionary to you, which I know some of y'all so gun hole in, you know, dealing with snow buttons, and that's fine. I have no problem with it. Do what you do. I don't care who you talk to, honestly. Do what you do. But when everything hit the fan, don't come back. I'm my old brother, you know, they just trying to get me. You know what? Most of them, not all of them, not all, not all, not all, okay? Most of them, whenever that she say something, <laughs> you might not get locked up for it, but your reputation is going to be ruined and everything you have going on is going to be ruined. Look how many guys that have been in college, star athletes, and one of them say that they violate them. Their whole career is derailed. You see how that works? Let Michael Irvin serve as a cautionary tale. Okay? This is the type of attitude. This is the character right here that fit the mold. Whenever a woman walk around with hate embedded in her heart, she's a dangerous serpent. Dangerous. And don't put racism on top of her. Because some of them are just sleep with you just to get you. Some of them are marry Marry you. Take your money and do all that. See, y'all don't understand the game. I am going to start a Patreon because I can't talk freely like how I want to. Okay? But behind the wall, I can talk like how I want to. Make it plain. Put it in layman terms for everybody to understand. I'm going to start one very soon. I am currently in the process of getting that together, guys. Okay? But guys, what do you think about this? And until next time, Peace, and remember, there is more.